Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. I'm going to start off this video by showing you around all the changes I've made. And the first thing I want to point out is that my wolf pack has once again grown. I am now 12 members strong. So yeah, I have 12 wolves following me around. And if you remember my last video when I was trying to make a farm, how annoying it was having, um, I think I had eight dogs then, having another four makes things absolutely crazy. So the main thing I'm going to be doing in this video is building a dog house. Well, finishing a dog house I've already started. Uh, I've also started building the uh, main part of the house. I know it's taken me a while. So this is where the actual biggest part of the house is going to be. It's going to be here over the water, kind of as a bridge. And I'm going to have my room here with a nice view, big glass window, and kind of a few guest rooms and stuff. And uh, you see here there's going to be a waterfall coming down there from that fountain which is on the roof and this is going to be sort of like the water flowing above your head and stuff so I'm not going to be working on that in this video I just want to show you I've made some progress and these won't be dirt uh, I actually use dirt uh, to sort of um, sort of be glass because I'm always placing glass and changing my mind and wasting it at the moment I just place dirt to sort of mark where glass will be uh, so I don't waste too many resources I'm also going to quickly show you out into the garden uh, because I've updated the uh, love garden uh, with a few more people. I just want to give a few shout outs to people that have been commenting and stuff uh, because if you take the time to watch my videos, I want to sort of show you uh, I appreciate it and uh, add you to my love garden. So I hear got I please, somebody's watching loads of my videos, always commenting. Uh, Silly Solomon, uh, another YouTube commentator. I've done a few 1v1s against him. Uh, Straggly Alfred one. I got Super C37, Halo DNYL, Black Star Commentary. Uh, I think this guy's new. Uh, Eximina Voltage. Uh, I've not actually mispronounced anyone's name yet. Peter Mongan and Landkill97. I think they're all of the new additions. And if you still haven't had your name added and you think that I'm ignoring you or I've forgotten, uh, I probably haven't. I may have, but I probably haven't. Uh, it's just because there is a delay from the time I make those videos to when I upload them. Basically because when I first got the game, I made like five videos in two days. So I'm sort of still working through them. Hopefully I'll catch up soon. You can see here my farm has now uh, grown. I've added uh, a lot more wheat and stuff down here because wheat's a bit annoying because animals keep trampling. I might I might actually build a greenhouse or I want gates so I can gate this area off because pigs and stuff keep just walking up and just walking up and down and destroying all my crops, which is annoying. Uh, but the biggest addition is this dog house, which I know it's not very big or whatever and uh, is a bit of a tight fit fitting all these dogs in this little tiny dog house, but I felt like I needed to add one. Actually, what's this through here? A secret door to a massive dog house. Yeah, so this is going to be my dog playpen area. This is what I'm going to be finishing off in this video, uh, as well as hopefully doing something else pretty cool at the end of the video, if I have time. And I think the star of the show is my mini vending machine here. You see that if a dog wants a pork chop or a bone, they can just go and press the button and down drops a pork chop. Uh, same with bone there. Ta -da! I was going to do a, a bit more of a fancy vending machine where I was having it like you'd select what you want then press release uh, but I'm not very good with redstone yet so I decided that for this one I'll just have a simple press the button and then that thing will drop down. Yes that's pretty cool. I'm going to be adding uh, a dog little pool in this area down here and I'm also going to do a few like obstacle courses kind of like crufts. If you don't know what Crufts is, it's kind of like a dog show in Britain, and I don't watch it uh, before you start judging me. Uh, I think it's most famous for uh, a dog that did a poo during the show, and uh, a kind of a video went a bit viral because of that. Uh, so yeah, if you want to YouTube in Crufts Dog Poo, then you can see a bit of a funny video. But yeah, I'm going to just finish off this area, then I'm going to introduce the dogs to the doghouse, because they're, they're getting a bit annoying, all just sort of getting in the way in my stock room at the moment. So actually, I'm going to finish off doing the... Um, doing the ceiling first. Sorry, I'm doing this really slow. I could just do that, couldn't I? Yeah, so I've gone for a bit of a fancy pattern using kind of um, using wool, using red and green wool. Uh, the way you dye wool is I've used cactus to make the green and I have used um, roses to make the red. So I'm just going to continue this pattern through. And the floor, I don't know if you can hear it, probably not. It's probably too quiet, but the floor is actually made out of snow. And the only problem with snow is that it can be melted by torches and stuff, I believe, but I haven't had a problem with that yet. Uh, so that is a bit of a nuisance, but I wanted just a pure white. And I could have used white wool, but it takes so long going around punching sheep uh, to get wool from them. I decided to just use snow, and because I got such a lovely snowy world, it seemed like uh, quite a good use, you know, to try and get rid of all my snow. What am I trying to do here? I always start going through menus without even thinking about what I'm doing and taking ages. Yeah, so that's basically how you make coloured wool. You see me there making the dye, then you just make a load of it. I probably actually made a little bit too much red there. I hope I'm going to have enough room to make the green. And yeah, I'm going to make some green wool as well while I'm here, because I know I'm going to need that. 
can save a bit of white wall just in case I need some later on. It's annoying that probably the best building material, which is wall in terms of the fact that you can have it pretty much any colour, is so sparse, you know, like trees and cobblestone and stuff, you can mine so easily. And um, wool's really awkward to get, going around punching sheep, it's sort of kind of random to when you find them. It's also got a problem with the fact that it can uh, burn very easily and um, it can get set on fire by lightning. So if you build something outside, I don't recommend using wool because there's a good chance you're going to wake up in the morning and it's all going to be burnt down. And ta-da! I think that looks pretty cool, actually. It's a bit of like an optical illusion. <laughs> right, I'm going to move straight on to building my um, little doggy pool. I think I'm going to have it down in this area here. I think along that wall I'm going to have a sign with the names of all of my dogs. And don't forget that if you want to name a dog, uh, do leave a comment below with a name suggestion and I very well may pick it as long as it's a good name. And if you have already done that and you think I'm once again ignoring you, uh, let me once again apologise for the delay of these videos, the fact that um, I'm probably making this video a long time before it's getting uploaded. Right, so I'm basically going to have a little pool here and just fill it full of water. Is my infantry full? It is. Yeah, it's a problem with snow. You can only have it in like stacks of 16, which is a bit of a nuisance. So it can sort of fill up your infantry. If you try gathering snow, you're going to have to make a lot of visits continually going back to chests and stuff. But you can make them as blocks and it sort of clears up some infantry space easily for you. I found that I'm having chests everywhere now because I'm constantly having to just dump stuff. Is this going to be cool for a pool? Cool for a pool. I think one more this way and one more the other way maybe. Make it a little bit bigger. My dogs deserve luxury. They can have a big pool. I hope there's going to be no issue with um, having water and snow. I don't think water will melt snow. Actually, I might have like a stone border around it. Might make it look a little bit better. I'm getting slightly better at building. I don't make so many mistakes placing blocks in the wrong place. I might have stone around the outside there as well. I'm going to quickly go make another shovel. Once again, still using stone tools, you know? I just get attached to them. I don't want to upgrade to iron or anything yet. Yeah, so once I've built my pool, I'm going to add a few obstacle courses. I'm going to add a tunnel, I think, and sort of just something they can climb up on, something like a ramp. So, just so that the dogs can stay active. I always put some fences in as well, so they can jump over the fence, you know, complete the obstacle course. <laughs> I've also been prepared and already got a load of buckets of water at hand. I think, I think they're back in that chest, I know they hit. Yeah, so I'm going to put four buckets of water. And yeah, once I've finished this room and introduce, uh, introduced the dogs to it, I'm going to go and build a ball of lava. A glass ball of lava is the plan. And uh, I'm going to put that in front, like, in front of the main entrance of my house. It's just something to look cool. Uh, and I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not sure how well lava and glass mix. I hope I'm not going to destroy it or anything. So yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. There's a bit of a dip in the middle. Uh, I, we, I will uh, probably fill this up. Maybe add a few more water blocks here and here to sort of make it look a little bit more level. But this is this is okay for now. So I'm going to go and add in a few uh, obstacle courses and stuff. I'm going to keep those buckets with me because I'm going to need to go and gather some lava in a minute. Going to have to venture down into the mines. Right, so I'm going to build a tunnel out of pink wall and I'm going to use uh, wood, I believe, to make my uh, ramp. Actually, I use, I use stairs. I use stairs and wood. Okay. Also, I'll show you what this door is in case you're wondering. This uh, leads down to this little area here and that's, uh, that's sort of the front of my house. That's my mine and up there leads back to the farm. So I kind of like how everything sort of ended up connected together. It all just seemed to work out quite nicely. So this is this is under my farm, sort of. You can see I've actually got that block there. That black block is um, actually like you can see it upstairs. It's just a random black block in my um, in my uh, farm. But I don't really care about that too much. Right. So let, let's build a, a pink tunnel then, shall we? Where shall I build it? Um, build it like here, I think. Oh no, I don't even have enough wool for it. <laughs> oh dear, right, forget that. I'll make, I'll make a red tunnel. Because I can't be bothered to go dye wool. I'm not sure. I think you need uh, rose and bone meal to combine to make pink wool. I think. I may be wrong. Yeah, right. A red tunnel it is. I, I might move some of this stuff around a bit later on and sort of work it out. It's annoying how everything's got to be like massive in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, I don't even have enough red wool either. 
Tell you what, I'll have a red and pink tunnel. There we go. Compromise. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? So all the dogs can run under there. Yeah, that looks that looks a lot worse than I assumed it would do. <laughs> right, I'm going to add a ramp here. So I basically just want... Nope, that's the wrong way around. Yes, yeah, so the dogs aren't actually... The problem is, is that once I put the dogs in here, if I just left them to run around, they'd all just follow me. Like, they'll just teleport to me anyway. So unfortunately, they're all going to have to just be sitting down in here anyway, which is kind of annoying. But, oh well. <laughs> They're only dogs at the end of the day. Right, here we go. This this is a, a little ramp for them to play around on. Whoa, it's kind of bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, no, I hate that. I'm always like one block not enough. Like, I just need one more bit of stairs there and I just didn't make enough. It's never the other way around. It's never you have just the right amount. It's always you just don't have the right amount. <laughs> this actually looks a lot more ridiculous than I assumed it would. I might change my mind and just remove these obstacle courses. Oh god, I placed the wrong thing there. Yeah, and just to remind you, um, when getting rid of these blocks here, use a pickaxe, not a um, normal axe, just because it gets rid of it quicker. Here we go. <laughs> I can't even run over it. I just bang my head on it. I could actually build a little tunnel out of here if I dig through here. So they can kind of go under it. A little obstacle course for them there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, here we go. This, this is my dog playpen. I don't know what else I could really add in here. I could add a few, like, pressure pads that make note box blocks play and stuff. But to be honest, I think this is okay. If I was a dog, I would be more than happy uh, running around in this area. Pork chops on demand. I mean, what more does a dog want? Well, the dog would probably want to be able to reach the button for a first place, but... <laughs> okay, right, let's rush back to my dogs and try to introduce them here. It's dangerous doing this at night, actually, because... Um, I'm hoping I don't run into any creepers or anything, but I try and be quick and I should be okay. I would sleep, but I know the second I go to sleep, something's going to wake me up because of that annoying glitch where zombies and stuff spawn with you. It's so annoying. That that will be patched in the PC version. Uh, they did have that glitch and they've patched it since then, but it's just annoying uh, for now having to deal with that. Right, come on guys, everyone up. I want Barnaby, Cedric, others. Let's go to the doghouse. Right, I'm going to have to do one quick dash down there and hopefully they'll all follow and not get eaten. Any creepers? Any creepers? No, we're safe. Come on, dogs. <laughs> I got scared then. It was just a cow. What's that? It's not a creeper, is it? No, it's zombies. Come on, dogs. Go, 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 go. I feel so safe. Oh, where are all the others? Oh, I'm attacking my own dogs. Here, buddy, have a pork chop. Right, everyone in, everyone in before a creeper comes. That's not the door. <laughs> Out the way. <laughs> Come on, single file, single file. You coming in? No. Oh, they're already in. <laughs> I love the fact they can just teleport. Right, I don't think I've lost any. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to count them. Right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Stand still, everyone. Stand still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, look. See, look they, look, they love it. They love the play area already. Look at them. They're going crazy. Come on. Everyone join me in the bath area. Let me have a bath with my dogs. <laughs> oh, just flying through the walls. Oh, so, oh, I'm trapped in the corner now. All right, don't push. Stop splashing, okay? No diving either. It's not very deep. I can't even get out. I'm going to watch them all get out and just start shaking, like, en masse. Well, the snow will probably start melting. I hope they don't mind the snow. I hope they don't find it cold on their paws. <laughs> They're not stuck, are they? No. All right, who who was hurt in our in our journey down here? I've got some pork chops for you here. Who's hurt? Come on, stand over here if you're hurt. I just throw pork chops out, out into the crowd. Pork chops for everyone! <laughs> All right, who is actually hurt? The way, yeah, as I've, as I've said in a past video, the way you tell if they're <laughs> This is stupid. The way you tell if they're hurt or not is how low their tails are. So if you give them food... I think you can only give them pork chops, but I'm not sure about that. But yeah, if you give them food, their tail will rise and they'll be much more happy. Right, I'm just going to throw pork chops out randomly. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Right, one more pork chop for him. I will maybe in a future video show you how I did this. It's kind of simple. All it is is just a redstone trail, redstone wire leading from the button to the actual dispenser. As I said, I did try doing something a bit fancier, but I figured that I don't really need it for this, so I went for the simple option. Right, I'm going to spread them out a little bit. You can sit down up there <laughs> because I don't want them all following me. I might just 
when going out on adventures, just pick a dog. You can sit down under there. Can you sit down? There we go. Yeah, so I might on adventures just pick a dog and just take one with me. Because if they're all coming around with me all the time, it will just be crazy. Oh, you nearly escaped. I won't take one with me now just because it's night and I'm scared they'll get killed by a creeper or something. Right, I'm like another quick dash. Okay, I'm going to go down into the mines now just to grab some lava. Oh, oh. One's escaped, one's escaped. Okay, you can come with me. That's Barnaby. That's the one that I named. He's my favourite. I know I shouldn't have favourites, and I never say it in front of the others, but we have just a just a special connection, you know? A special bond. Ow. Oh, that that was that was painful. <laughs> it's very dangerous going down there. I, I feel a bit safer now, though, having Barnaby with me. Although I am scared he's going to dive straight into lava or something, so... Yeah, dogs aren't the cleverest of animals. So let me just fill up my buckets with lava. Yeah, so what, what I'm basically going to do is, on top of the main entrance to my house, I'm going to uh, just make a glass dome. Well, not dome, a, a glass sphere. As well, as much of a sphere as you can do in Minecraft. It'll be more of a glass blob. <laughs> and I'm going to um, fill it full of lava, and hopefully it'll just look pretty cool, and it'll also light up the area quite well. So... It's just, it's just something that I thought that would look quite cool. And if I have time, I might actually upgrade my doorbell as well. I want my doorbell to make like a proper sound. So at the moment, it just goes like... Burp, burp. It doesn't sound very doorbelly. And I've sort of learned how to do um, like proper tunes. So I will at one point, hopefully, make an actual tune with note blocks. But for now, I just want to... Dun, dun, just to make... Just to make my doorbell a bit more proper. And it is a dog doorbell. It is like at dog level. I think I'm going a bit crazy. I'm like the crazy cat woman, but with dogs. The crazy dog man. Doesn't sound as good. I'm also going to grab some pork chops for yours truly. Seeing as Barnaby was such a nice protector of me as well, I'm going to be nice and give him one. Oh, I was, oh, I was supposed to put these signs up. The reason I've got a load of signs with me is because I was going to um, uh, place them down put the names of the dogs but I might wait until I've got them all. I've also got a chest here full of signs just in preparation <laughs> to add to my love garden. Right, to the roof! Have I got glass? I do have glass. Look at me being all prepared this video. I had all the right things with me. I had enough wool and everything. Normally I forget at least one thing that I need. Okay, yeah, so th this is where I'm going to be building it. I'm sort of just going to be adding to this anyway. So it's going to be quite cool. So hopefully if you look from down there, you're just going to look up and just see lava and it looks, should look pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to place down dirt at first, just as kind of like a guide. So the dirt is where the lava will be. And so I can now place glass on the side of that. I am kind of worried that placing lava on glass might be a bad idea, but I'm going to risk it because I think the reward should be worth the risks. Yeah, I don't think it's going to look very uh, sphere-shaped, very spherical. Spherical? Is that a word or am I just making things up? See some googly still alive down there. Right, here we go. So hopefully if I pour some lava in here, it should just fill up to the top and look awesome. That is the plan. Let's see if the reality matches it. Is this right? That isn't right. This is supposed to be higher. That's done very badly. Right, my little makeshift ladder here. See, this is what I hate doing. This is why I said earlier I placed dirt as a guide before placing glass because I hate destroying glass because I don't have that much sand in my world. Well, I do, but sand's always in like pretty places like beaches. I don't have a desert which I can just mine loads of sand from. So I, I hate breaking it. So I always feel bad about that. Right. Here we go. This should look a little bit better. Oh, that's wrong. Is that wrong? That is wrong. I've done this all completely wrong. Wasting more glass. I see all these amazing things that people build online and I'm here struggling to build this most simple of stupid little things. <laughs> right, okay. Once I've got rid of this dirt, I should be ready. Oh no, now I can't get out. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'll go down to pick up the dirt and just get stuck in there again. Right, I'm going to leave that dirt there. I can live without those two blocks of dirt. Right, let's place some lava in, shall we? Actually, I've done this wrong. I want to get an angle. Right, is it destroying the glass? Oh, oh, this is this is this is looking okay. This is filling up quite nicely. Right, I got I got four bits of lava. I'm hoping it doesn't start overflowing. 
That's the fear. If it does, I'm going to be quick and shove some glass down. Right, I'm ready. No, it's it's looking good. This is this is working. Look, Stampy Longnose has done something successfully. Write this in the record book. There's a first time for everything. Okay, it doesn't look very much like a sphere, but it's a cool little block of lava just floating there. Does, does that look cool or does that just look dumb? I think I could make this look more like a circle, I think, if I if I add bits in here. Would that No, that just make it look like a bigger block. I think I just would have to do the whole thing bigger to make it more look like a circle, but I think that looks quite cool. I don't know if I should have done it all a bit lower or whatever, but it looks alright. I'll see what it looks like from down here. Ow. Okay, you can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this looks bad. This was a much better idea in my head than what it turned out like. Yeah, that's all right. Right, okay, I see I just about have time to rush and try and upgrade my doorbell. You can see my awful wiring. Yeah, so this is basically redstone wire leads down from that button to a little note block, which is down under here. So I think I'm going to go a little bit deeper because I'm right near the surface there and I don't want to accidentally go up. Yeah, so basically all I need to do is put two little note blocks down. Okay, so actually no, I just... I also need to decide what material because there's that sound and if I put it on a dirt block it makes a kind of different sound, I'm not sure what I prefer. Well, if, yeah, you press left trigger to uh, tune them. I believe this one's placed on wall, it is. Right, do I have any wall on me? Right, I'll do the other one out of wall as well then. I'll do it there. Okay, so basically all you need to do, you place your note block down and you choose your tune. So I'm going to have this one as a low one, so it's going to be like dun dun. No, it needs to be high, then low. So that one can be a bit higher, it's probably a bit too high. That should do. Then I need a redstone and a repeater. And the, what the repeater basically does is repeats the current. It's kind of in the name, isn't it? Uh, but you can also set it to like be delayed. So if I do redstone there, I think I can put the repeater right next to it. But I might need another block there. Oh god, that was wrong. Yeah, I'm just going to mine just a little bit further. Sorry, I'm... Oh no, I've, I've reached my limit. I've reached my boundary. And <laughs> Barnaby is getting in the way. <laughs> Yeah, so the repeater gets placed in the direction that you're facing, so if I get on top of here, I'm scared I'm going to go up through the floor. I seem to be okay. Alright, hopefully this will work. I'm not sure if this is all connected okay. Alright, so this needs to be lower. That's pretty low anyway. Alright, let's try this out. Let's just see if it has randomly worked anyway. Okay. <laughs> well, it has worked, but it sounds a bit rubbish. It's just like, bidum. So if I do this, it'll add more of a delay. Let's add as much delay as you can. See what this sounds like. Okay. Slightly less delay. And hopefully the third time was just right. There we go. There's, there's, there's my doorbell. So if any dog is getting eaten by zombies out here, they can just run up the door. And then I can rush to the rescue and save their lives. So yeah, sorry I've dragged on so long in this video, but hopefully you enjoyed uh, the look at my nice little dog house and uh, my beautiful lava structure. Uh, but I'm going to end this video now. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from all of my little puppies. Cheers for watching this video and I will see you later.